Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. It's that time of year again. We are transitioning from summer to fall and getting our wardrobes ready. So I hope you will join me today on The Daily Connoisseur. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here. If you're new to my channel, I am the author of Lessons from Madame Chic and the Madame Chic series. And I do something called the 10 item capsule wardrobe. And the seasonal transitions are key points in the life of your 10 item wardrobe, because this is where you are making some sound decisions, hopefully, packing away the last season, making room for what's to come. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of putting away our summer wardrobe, let's start with the fun stuff. I'm going to show you some of my new pieces for fall. They are from Lily Silk, who has kindly sponsored today's video. Lily Silk is one of those high quality brands that always has a spot in my wardrobe. I typically have a couple of Lily Silk pieces in my core items and at least one or two pieces in my extras. Many of you know them for their tried and true silk garments, like these classic chic safari silk pants and their button-down silk tops. But did you know that Lily Silk have an amazing range of knitwear too? They have wool, silk knits, and cashmere of the highest quality in all different styles. Basics like this navy cable knit cashmere sweater will pair beautifully with jeans, silk trousers, or a skirt. This fruitwood v-neck cashmere sweater is short-sleeved and perfect for fall in milder climates. The deep raisin color is going to add a richness to my outfits and the cashmere is so soft. Then this camel cashmere polo sweater that I'm wearing in the video is giving rich mom or quiet luxury vibes. <laughs> this sweater will elevate any casual look. Their navy essential knit tee is an elevated t-shirt look that can be dressed up. Here I'm pairing it with these lily silk silk trousers that are in my extras for more dressed up or professional ensembles. And if you've noticed, I'm carrying this beautiful brown lily silk skirt into the fall season because it will work perfectly with my other pieces. So there will be three core items by Lily Silk in my wardrobe this year with that returning piece and the sweaters are in the extras. Lily Silk have given me some amazing discount codes. Make sure you check them out if you plan to do some of your fall shopping with them. I will leave everything down below. Okay, so now I have a few preliminary things in my wardrobe getting me excited for the fall season but it is time for me to make that transition from summer to fall. So if you're doing this along with me, I encourage you to take out your summer wardrobe, like take it out of your closet physically. Or if you don't have that many pieces like me, you can just stay in there. <laughs> but you know, take them off, off the hanger and, and look at them and decide whether they are going to stay or whether they are going to go. Usually something goes for me if it either is worn out, like I've worn it so much. I had a few pieces in my summer wardrobe this year that I've worn for a few years and I love them still, but they're starting to look a bit worn. I've washed them so many times, it's time for them to go. So you're gonna do that. Or if there is a piece that you just really didn't like and you tried, but it's not you, then you can definitely have that go as well. There's no guilt. In fact, you learn something about your true style and you're one step closer to grasping it. So ask yourself if something is going to stay or if it's going to go. If it is going to stay, it's time to pack it away. So however you do this, some people have a guest closet that they'll put their out of season clothes in, or some people have a really big closet and you can just put your out of season clothes on one side of it, out of the way. I like to store my out of season clothes in canvas bins. You could get these at the container store, at Ikea, you could get them on Amazon. I'll leave a few options linked down below. Or you could store them in space bags if you have limited space and put them in a closet or under your bed. But either way, the idea is to get your out of season clothing out of the closet. Don't let your summer dresses mingle with your fall sweaters and your fall wardrobe because it just creates confusion and when you get ready in the morning, you're going to have to sort through all of that. The goal is to have our closet look like a chic 
boutique. So if you walk into the stores this time of year, they're set up for fall already. You go in and they have all the new merchandise in the front. Everything looks really good. It's not cluttered in with the summer clearance items, for example. That would be so weird. If you walked into a store and you saw new fall arrivals on the same rack as summer clearance, right? So stores know this, they know the wisdom in this. And so we should also do this in our own closets. So it's time to go through every single piece and do something with it, but get it out. Now, what if you are transitioning like weather wise? Okay, so I live in Southern California and it's really hot still. For me, I am now adapting my fall clothes. I am not wanting to wear my breezy white summer dresses um, at the end of August or the beginning of September, even if it is 100 degrees outside. I just don't feel like it. So for me, I'm adapting what that looks like. And I will wear fall outfits that are cooler, you know, that I am able to wear in hot weather, but still have the vibes of fall. So you can keep a few items definitely on your shelf for the transition, but all of the really like summery things that just scream summer, it's time to put those away. <laughs> Okay, the next part is so fun. If you packed away anything from last fall that you want to bring back this year, it's time to bring it back and open up that bin or take it out of storage and look at it again. You might need to wash it again or definitely steam or iron it. Try it on. Does it still fit? <laughs> uh, Think about whether or not it's going to go with your fall pieces and if you indeed want to keep that item in your wardrobe. I am bringing back a few pieces. So have a look at what's coming back and get excited about that. Get that ready and hang that up in your closet. Then you can have that in the back of your mind if you're looking for any new items. Remember that you have those fall pieces that those items can go with. Now that you have your fall wardrobe hanging up and it's probably not going to be complete, like there's probably a few things that you would like to add to your wardrobe and go shopping for this year. And this is where you can really have fun because you can write down a list of what you would like and then you could be ruthless about finding that exact thing. And this is why shopping becomes so much more intentional when you do the 10 item wardrobe. You're no longer browsing the shops and if you see something it kind of takes your fancy you buy it but then you realize when you come home that it doesn't really go with anything else and what were you thinking <laughs> you know you don't have those moments anymore you might think to yourself I would like a maxi dress in like a plum color this year I think that would go really well with this lily silk cardigan that I have you know so what you can do is write it down on your list and now that we have the internet you can browse online and search for that specific item you can go to the shops with an eye to what you want and then you can go shopping and buy it. And also no rush, that's the other thing. So on my channel, I used to rush to get my fall wardrobe out for you all. And I just wanted the video out and for people to feel inspired, but I was so stressed out by the fact that I was rushing in August to try to find all my fall clothes. And I'm not doing that anymore. And I don't want you to do that either. I don't want you to feel rushed about your wardrobe. I want you to take time with this process and enjoy it. It's like you are curating an art exhibit. You're going to search for the perfect artist, the perfect style, things that complement the other pieces, all together with a theme. You know, you're not just going to take anything off the street or anything from any artist to put on your wall. It has to all kind of go and work together harmoniously. And that's what we want in our 10 item wardrobe. So I hope that you enjoy this process. I would love to know how you are doing with this transition from summer to fall or for our Southern Hemisphere friends, transitioning from winter to spring. So either way, wherever you live, it's good to follow these principles to keep your closet in top order. You're going to make this closet run so efficiently, but it's going to help you in your style and you're going to thoroughly enjoy the process. It's quite fun, especially year after year. The more you do it, the more you look forward to it. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you're not already, because I have a lot of fall 10 item wardrobe content coming out and I hope you love it. Thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring. Don't forget to click my link down below and check out my discount codes so you can get a start on your fall shopping this year. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. Keep calm and remain classy and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.
Thank you.